and welcome back to the channel monica love here at the love messages so today we're going to be doing your reading from the 4th to the 10th of april now this is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you it may not if it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended so Capricorn, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to be clarifying the cards and pulling some advice. All right, so your challenge is the King of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Emperor Upright. So Capricorn, your challenge here has a lot to do with the King of Cups energy. I do strongly believe that you're dealing with someone who has water-like energy. So it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or somebody who embodies this energy. You may be finding it very challenging with this person, or if it's not a specific person, this may be you finding it very challenging to confront or deal with some sort of emotions that you are experiencing at this time. We're going to clarify your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the World, and the Eight of Swords. I'm really strongly getting in the recent past for many of you there's something here that did come to an end I do feel like you were slowly trying to bring something to an end or something here uh needed to come to an end because it was very restrictive it was very isolating there was a very strong connection here of being tied to something here maybe that you didn't want to be tied to we're going to clarify and see more in a moment in the present moment you have the five of wands the page of pentacles and the page of cups I'm strongly getting in the present moment there is a conflict there's a very, very strong conflict here in the present moment between two people. I do strongly get that there is um, two opposing forces here in the present moment. For many of you, there is an opportunity maybe within this conflict for forgiveness and healing. We're going to see when we clarify in a moment. In the near future, you have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Judgment. So I'm really strongly getting in the near future for many of you. There's something here about a relationship where you start to see this person and they start to see you for what the connection is. And there's a big realization, major realization about something within this connection that needs to possibly come to your attention. We're going to find out what that is in a moment. Could be with a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries I'm getting cancer or a Scorpio now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the Emperor the Wheel of Fortune the Fool the Two of Swords you also have the Six of Cups and you have the Hierophant all upright so what this is indicating to me, Capricorn, is for many of you, there is a new, brand new opportunity for you to maybe have a commitment with somebody here that you've known for quite some time. I am also getting that within this opportunity that is presenting itself to you, there is definitely stability that could possibly come into your life. However, the only issue that I'm seeing here for many of you is someone here is still closed off. Someone here is still closed off, possibly to having to want wanting and having this new beginning with you. And the reason why I'm seeing this person be closed off is possibly because of the conflict that you're in with them in the present moment. Okay. So there's something here about working through your differences with this person in order to lead to, in order for the situation to lead to growth, because that's what a lot of you want, right? You want to have a new beginning. You want to be able to commit yourself. You want happiness just like everybody else does. And within this situation, that by the way has been very closed off, there will be an opportunity. The important message for you is to identify and find that opportunity and then act upon it. Okay, so let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So the King of Cups is clarified by the star, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with healing some sort of situation in your life in order to move towards in the future. So your biggest challenge here is to be giving, to be generous in this situation. One of the things that you may not realize, Capricorn, is, is that the more generous you are in a situation, the more giving you are in a situation, the more you're going to find happiness and satisfaction in it. But if you're somebody here who's all in your emotions, you're constantly taking from a situation, you're not focused on the future, that may be one of the reasons why something here isn't happening for you. So your biggest challenge here is about identifying what situation 
situations in your life that you can give more to in order to focus on the future, pave the path for the future in order to bring satisfaction and happiness to you. What is the point of living if you're not happy? Okay, that's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords in the recent past. So the Eight of Swords in the recent past is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like in the recent past, somebody here wanted the truth. They wanted to be released from some sort of situation here that was really making them feel stuck. I do feel like this was you. You wanted some sort of truth and clarity to free yourself in order to be able to move on. Tell me more about the world in the recent past for Capricorn. So the world is clarified by the high priestess. You have the moon and the queen of cups. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that somebody here chose to end things, possibly with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The reason why someone here chose to end things was because they felt like you were hiding something or you were concealing something from them. There's something here, Capricorn, about you moving really slowly towards a connection in the past or your person was moving slowly. And somebody here was tired of feeling stuck and restricted. And as a result of that, something here ended, even though there was a lot of love. So this is what I'm seeing happen for many of you in the recent past. Tell me more actually about the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past for Capricorn. Why is it here? So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting, like I said, somebody walked away from you or disconnected from you, Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Within that point in time of this person disconnecting from you, there was a major opportunity for you to maybe take advantage of some sort of change here. All right. So I do feel that even though there was something negative that happened in the past that ultimately led to some sort of ending, there was an opportunity within that. The question is, did you see that opportunity in the past? Now, in the present moment, like I said, I feel for many of you, there is definitely some sort of conflict. There's some sort of conflict. Why is a conflict here for Capricorn in the present moment? What's the important message for Capricorn? So the five of wands is clarified by the hangman, the 10 of pentacles and the Knight of pentacles. Someone here is arguing over money. There's something here about an investment money. And it's like, you know, there's a conflict. Someone here is not taking action or there's a lack of action being taken in regards to this conflict. Tell me more about the page of pentacles. What's the important message here for Capricorn in the present moment? So the page of pentacles is clarified by the seven of cups. You have the three of cups and the king of swords. Somebody here in the near future is completely confused or somebody here, excuse me, in the present moment is completely confused. They're confused because they don't know whether to celebrate this or to reconcile or what should happen here. So there's something here about forgiveness, healing, releasing. Somebody here is really stubborn in the present moment, super stubborn. And all it's doing is leading to a bunch of confusion between you and this person. I'm also getting somebody here who's younger or immature. And that could also be the reason why there's a conflict. Tell me more about the page of cups in the present moment. What else does Capricorn need to know about this situation in the present moment? So the page of cups is clarified by the six of swords. You have the seven of wands and the emperor. So for many of you in the present moment, I am really strongly getting that somebody here is eventually, you know, in the present moment, thinking about disconnecting from this and setting boundaries. I do see an apology or confession coming in. And the reason why this apology or confession is coming in is because there's a desire to set some sort of balance here, some sort of structure here in the present moment, because something here has gotten way too much too out of hand. Something here has gotten way Way too out of hand now and somebody's like I don't want to be a part of this drama anymore it's just silly it's not even worth it anymore so somebody here is being the bigger person I do feel like there's a child involved somebody here is being the bigger person to remove themselves or disconnect from it create boundaries in order to bring stability back into this connection or into the situation in general because it's just not stable there's a lot of this um, conflict somebody here is stubborn 
And there's a lot of confusion whether or not a reconciliation is going to happen. So this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now, in the near future, like I said, you are going to be going through some sort of major awakening. I do feel like this awakening has a lot to do with a relationship. It also has a lot to do with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, or a Scorpio that you've been dealing with who's been very on and off with you. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands for Capricorn in the near future. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. You have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So for many of you in the near future, like I said, somebody here is no longer interested. They're no longer interested in being cooperative because actually one of the things I see here is this person is going to be cooperative, but they're not going to be interested in love. The reason why they're not interested in love is because somebody here is always constantly on and off. Somebody here was concealing things or hiding things in the past and they ended up walking away anyways because things didn't move fast enough. And in fact, things are not even really moving in the present moment. There's still this big question mark. So in the near future, somebody says, you know what, whatever, I don't even care. Seven of swords, you've already lied to me. You've already cheated. You've already been deceptive. Uh, two, you've been in this place of offering me love and then rejecting me. So there's just, it's like somebody here in the near future is seeing something for what it is within a relationship, within a specific person. Tell me more about the Two of Cups for Capricorn in the near future. So the Two of Cups is clarified by the Fool. You have the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. There's definitely a breakup here in the near future. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but that's what I'm seeing in the cards. There's something here that is going to come to an end. It will cause a lot of pain, but it's going to make room for something bigger and better for you. I am seeing a new opportunity, maybe a new relationship that's coming in for you. Tell me more about the judgment. What is the important message here in the near future for Capricorn in love? Okay, so there's actually two stories here. So for some of you, there will be a breakup, but then you're gonna get back together with this person. It is someone that you are either married to or somebody you're in a commitment with. I do feel if there's been issues within your marriage, there is eventually going to be either a new beginning or just a breakup. And here's what's gonna happen for some of you. And again, the reading is gonna vary for different people because for many of you, there's a lesson that has to be learned here in the near future. And somebody may have too much of an ego and they may not be open to learning the lesson here. While somebody else may say, wow, I needed to go through this painful situation. I needed to go through this experience in order to learn something from this. So I feel like in the near future, if you adhere to the spiritual awakening that is coming in for you in regards to a relationship where things need to change, something here needs to die out and needs to change and transform. And that's when there's going to be a new opportunity. For others of you, there is gonna be an ending, but there's gonna be a brand new beginning with somebody here who actually wants to commit to you and actually wants to give love to you. So again, it's going to vary. There's two types of um, people that are here. Some of you had a bad experience with someone here in the past that constantly rejects you, constantly is just in the connection because they get something out of it. And sure, they're cooperative, but there is no trust, okay? And that's why something comes to an end. And that's why a new beginning happens where you're gonna find someone who's gonna be able to actually commit to you. Others of you are gonna try to have a new beginning with someone here that you end because there is a spiritual transformation and awakening that's happening within you and within this person that you both may be going through, which is ultimately a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection. And if you're able to overcome the conflict, which is happening in the present moment, there is something to be learned here in the near future, which is gonna free you towards more love and the commitment that you seek with this person. But of course, depends on your situation and how you respond to it. Okay, so let's get some advice. The advice for you, Capricorn, is the nine of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. In order for you to completely get to this place of happiness, okay, in your finances, in your job, in your relationship, whatever the 
situation is that you're inquiring about, you need to start to be able to stand on your own two feet and become independent and not constantly feel like you need to take from other people or over give to other people in order for you to maintain some sort of investment here. There's something here about you trying to maybe hold on to something here by giving, giving, giving so much to it or taking, taking so much from it because you've already been there for quite some time. So there's something here about you being able to free yourself, becoming independent, standing on your own two feet, continuously working on yourself. And once you do that, you're going to be able to be in a relationship or a situation that a situation that is more balanced. There's something here about something not being balanced and that's your biggest challenge because some of you overgive to a situation or somebody overgives to you. And the only reason why they do that is because they're afraid of lo losing an investment or they're afraid of not having the support or stability that they want. And your biggest piece of advice here is not to always feel like you have to rely on other people. You should be able to find the resources within yourself to stand up on your own two feet and become the successful individual that you want. And that happens when you are actually investing into yourself and not so much investing into a situation that you don't really care about. So there's something here about you bringing balance back into your life when it comes to something here that you've invested a lot of your time and energy into shift your focus into becoming the powerful person that you are by investing in yourself, building that business, you know, starting something new here, standing on your own two feet and being the successful individual that you seek to become. Okay. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.